For today's episode, we're gonna create a composite with multiple blending modes. Let's get started. With the mixer tool, we're gonna add train tracks to the foreground of our picture. Let's go ahead and select the tools, the erase button. Let's remove all the pixels that we don't want to show on our picture. Let's go ahead and remove them. Next step is to resize the foreground. Place it where we think it looks good, which is about in the center right there. Go back to tools, erase, and sort of like remove the areas that you don't think look good or that need to be removed. In this case, I'm gonna zoom in so I can see clearly the areas that I want to get rid of. Back here, we can go ahead and play with this area. Pretend there's like a tunnel there so you can see it. Once we zoom out, it looks like there's a tunnel that goes through the rocks back there. This section right here looks good. Remove some of that extra. We click on this little button right here to see before and after and then we can spot there's some areas that need to be deleted right here. This is a good technique to use to make sure all the unwanted pixels are removed. It's always a good idea to zoom in and move it around the picture to make sure there's nothing there that you don't want to appear. So there it is, our foreground looks pretty good. Next step, we apply this. We're gonna adjust the background of the sky because I want the clouds that are there to show. In order to do that, we're going to apply under the image section, adjust. We're gonna play with the HDR filter. As you can see, everything got nice and crisp, but I only want it on the sky. Go ahead and go to mask, clear the effect, and make sure the apply is selected, and just apply the effect to the sky. I only want the sky to be affected by this segment, and see how I can see more detail on the sky. You can check this setting, and look at the intensity, see how the sky on this corner shows better. So I think around 45 looks good. You can click before and after to see the difference. So that looks good. Now we have a better looking sky. Next step is we go to the mixer tool. We're going to add the mystical lights that I want to add to the trees. In this case, we're going to use this tree that I capture walking around the streets of Boston. First, we're gonna erase some of like the background here that we don't need, we don't need any areas around it. And a really cool tip here is, on blending modes, we have an option called lightning. When you select this filter, see how it gets rid of everything that is dark and only leaves the really bright sections of the image. This is a really good filter to use and a very quickly way to remove all the areas that you don't need. But there's some left over. If you zoom in, you can see there's some areas that still need to be erased. To zoom in, delete what you don't want. Sparkles there. Now we're gonna readjust these lights so they kind of fit better in our tree. Just gonna adjust them. Adjust them however you want them. Then I'm going to delete a little bit of, uh, so I'm gonna delete some of the stuff that I don't want, like this one's over here. I'm gonna zoom in, kind of like the ones that you don't need. Just zoom in and get rid of them. So now it looks pretty cool. See the lights up there? Then you can see before and after. You can see what's up. There's some pixels here that need to be deleted. Some of the base right here. All right, so now we have our tree lights. We, we apply them. Next step is add some lights to the train tracks. Select the mixer tool again, select the same Christmas tree, place it over the train tracks, go back to the blending mode, select lighting, blending mode, and then 
kind of like adjust it so it's kind of like so the lights are over the train tracks so then uh, we're gonna remove the lights that we don't want like in the middle right here I'm gonna zoom in I'm gonna get rid of those these lights right here I'm gonna get rid of them and it looks like the train tracks have Christmas lights on. It looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna move them a little bit. There it is. So we apply the effect. Next, we're going to start blending all the elements together by adding color and vignettes. This will put everything together and it looks more natural. We go ahead and under filters, analog, I'm gonna look for a filter called Provence right here. I like the colors, see the those purples, and I think that it goes really well with this picture. Adjust the intensity, I don't like it too purple, just a tad bit like that. We apply it. Then we add a little vignette under the dual, dual segment. You scroll and find the vignette. Now uh, this vignette is a little bit too strong. See on the edges how strong it is? To make it more soft and less invasive, you go to the mask, I'm sorry, tools, blending, and change its blending to soft light. See how it looks very, very subtle. Let me show you before, after, before, after. This creates a very nice soft vignette. Let's go ahead and apply it. And here's our final composite. Let's review it. We added the train tracks. We changed the, the background with the HDR filter. We applied the foreground lights to the tree and to the train tracks. Then we apply a color and a vignette. We're done. Now we save our picture and we're finished. Thank you for watching.